G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video I'm going to share one of my tips and tricks of how to document your data extensions easier. Now if you're probably like me and you have to document data extensions quite a bit, you're often going to be in here in a data extension, copying and pasting your fields into Excel. What happens though when you copy this and go to Excel and try and press paste, is you get this kind of format. The data is not very useful and takes a bit of movement to turn it into some useful documentation. So my trick today is you can actually use your Chrome developer tools to get the data in a much more structured format. Let me show you how. If you go back into your data extensions folder, you can then, once the page is loaded, press F12 to open up your Chrome dev tools. You then choose the network tab, and below network, you choose the fetch XHR tab. And that's done, you can click back into your data extension. You can see here it's loading all the calls that are being made by Marketing Cloud to make this page load. And the one that we are looking for is one called Fields. If we scroll down, I can see here Fields. There it is. I can open up this call and go to my Preview tab, and I can see here that there are six fields in my data extension. Which of course, there are six fields. I can extend this, and there they all are there. If I right-click on the Fields word, and I can choose to use the Copy Object. With that done, I can jump into Google and type in something like JSON to CSV Online. There's a few options here. I'm going to choose the second one, this one here. Once the page is loaded, I can paste my JSON into this section. And there it is. Here is my data extension structure ready to go. I can quite simply copy and paste all this text, jump into my Excel and make a new sheet. And there we are. There's my documentation for my data extension ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I hope that it makes your documenting of data extensions a bit easier. If you like it, then please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and marketing cloud content.